right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So we just got out of the 2019 Mr. Olympia Finals for Men's Open Bodybuilding Classic Physique and Bikini. So, of course, I'm only going to give you the results for Men's Open and Classic. So in Men's Open Bodybuilding, the result that I was expecting was Brandon Curry winning the 2019 Mr. Olympia. Um, now, this was basically my prediction immediately following the 2019 Arnold Classic. Um, and as soon as we started to learn of guys that were not competing in the Olympia this year, when we knew Sean wasn't going to be there, when we knew Phil wasn't going to be there, when we knew Big Rami wasn't going to be there, we knew Kai Green wasn't going to be there, um, we kind of knew that this Olympia was going to be wide open. And Brandon Curry had the most momentum going into this Olympia, winning the Arnold Classic, beating Rolly Winkler at that Arnold Classic. Rolly was the next highest in line um, from his placings at the 2018 Olympia. He took third. And then when we, when we knew that Phil and Sean weren't going to be there, Rolly was the guy to beat, and Brandon had already beaten him. So Brandon was in my predictions you know, from the very beginning. And just a couple of days ago, when I saw Brandon on Thursday night at the Meet the Olympians, um, I told Brandon that I thought he was going to win. I wanted to get a picture with him before he won, and we took this picture that you're looking at right here. Um, and I put as the caption to that picture, standing with the 2019 Mr. Olympia champ. So that was my prediction, um, a pretty bold one. A lot of people were commenting that picture that I was going to be eating my words if I was wrong. And it looks like I wasn't wrong, so I'm very happy for Brandon. In second place, you had William Bonak. In third place, you had Hadi Japan, which was probably one of the biggest controversies of the show because Hadi did, in fact, win the People's Champion Award, which is what Rolly won last year. Um, so Hadi was the fan favorite. If you were there in the crowd like we were, the crowd was going absolutely nuts for Hadi, so it was very evident um, that they were very excited to see him place where he placed. But they were, at, they were also booing the result when they heard that he was third because a lot of people wanted him higher than that. Um, after looking at the comparison where they were comparing um, Bonac, Curry, and Hottie, I thought honestly that it was going to be Hottie and um, Brandon for one and two because Hottie's conditioning was so good. You know, Bonac looked very good, but I don't think his conditioning was really on par with Hottie's. Um, he was probably a little bit bigger and had a little bit more muscle than Hottie had, and that could be why he got the edge over Hottie, but I think Hottie looked phenomenal here. Um, and certainly an amazing first Mr. Olympia competition for Hadi Japan. Definitely left an impression on the fans here um, in the States. Again, this is his first time competing in the United States, period, not just at the Olympia. Um, but as an IFBB pro, this is the first time he's been able to compete in any of the big shows over here. And as you guys know, all the biggest shows in bodybuilding are in America. So it's kind of a shame that a guy like Hadi, who has a physique like that, he is clearly one of the best of the best has never been able to compete over here before. So very, very excited for him to get third place at his first Olympia. Um, you had Dexter Jackson taking fourth, and you also had Rolly Winkler taking fifth. So a lot of people were predicting that this was going to be between Rolly and Brandon. Um, that's kind of what I thought in the beginning too. But as soon as we saw Rolly at prejudging, um, I think everybody kind of knew that Rolly wasn't going to be in the top two. Um, his conditioning definitely looked a little bit off. His physique to me looked a little bit flat, um, and that's probably why he placed where he placed. Honestly, I still had Rolly placing over Dexter, so I was kind of surprised to see Dexter in fourth and Rolly in fifth. But for an Olympia that a lot of people were saying was going to be a boring Olympia, I think it was a good result. I think it was a highly competitive Olympia. I think it was extremely competitive between Bonac, Curry, and Hadi. I think they all were very similar statures. They had very similar physiques. Uh, I think it was a very close call between the three of them. Um, and it was interesting watching those comparisons on stage. Um, now, also, you had classic physique which I also predicted that Chris Bumstead would win in Classic Physique. And sure enough, Chris Bumstead won in Classic Physique, so it was pretty awesome to see that. Um, and then we also had the big announcement tonight at the Olympia that next year they will be bringing back the Miss Olympia competition in conjunction with the Wings of Strength organization that holds the Rising Phoenix Championships in Arizona, um, which is currently the largest female bodybuilding competition there is. Um, so they're kind of joining forces with the Olympia to bring back the Miss Olympia, which I think never should have went away in the first place. Um, but we got that big, exciting news tonight that the Miss Olympia was coming back. So very interesting night at the Olympia. You got a lot of videos coming on this channel Then in the next week, kind of recapping some of the things that happened. So make sure you subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed already. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, Nick Strength and Power, signing out.